Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays today with the TVT on Coda Ladder Edition. Oh yeah, and that one should be pretty damn good. So let's jump right into the introduction as we have spawning in the left top corner playing for Team KS. It's QQQQQ! And his opponent, the Red Terran, spawning in the right bottom position. It's me, Alex Sasher. Yay! Woo! So, I have no clue what to expect out of that game, so we will just wait and see. And for now, we have supply depots. Interestingly, QQQQQ's supply depot is a bit later. Look at that. It's like 18. 20 or oh, like three seconds later. Uh, I don't know why that is the case, but yep. It's SV also. Uh, 7 to 10. Yeah, it's a bit late. So maybe a slow start out of this guy, but that should be fine. And for me, we have of course gas first while my opponent is going for the 12 racks. And no gas so far whatsoever. Very interesting. So this could be... Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, 13 gas. Very interesting. So with the 13 gas, you don't need to skip SCVs. Uh, but your Reaper or Reactor will be a bit later. Mm, it's okay. You can do it. I, I did it when I was Platinum or Diamond myself. Because I was like, oh, never skip SCVs. Help! But it's not that big of a deal. Both is fine. You just need to know that your Reaper or Reactor will be a little bit later, or Factory, depending on what you want to do with the gas. So, because normally you can now start the Reaper, bam, with the 12 gas. And so he sticks with the Marine, and that's totally fine as well. And his SUV is on the way towards my main base and sees... Ah, Factory, okay, so this has to be a gas first build, and it is, so there we go. Uh, chewing away this SCV. Very important. Uh, oh yeah, very good so far. And for Penta Q, I should maybe say, because that's easier than Q Q Q Q Q. Uh, his factory is going up as well. So yeah, will he? Nope, he won't. Won't grab the watchtower. That's fine. Okay. I would send this SCV back as well to work. Harvest minerals or gas or build buildings, do something useful. And yeah. So, with the second gas coming for me, I guess we will most likely see the Raven auto turret doom drop with the tanks and the marines, which is still super strong. Even though if it's it's a bit a uh, double-edged sword, if you know what I mean, it, ca it can deal game-ending damage. Uh, but if scouted and reacted properly, it can deal no damage. So, very difficult sometimes to pull that one off successfully, but if you can do so, it's totally worth it. And yeah, there we have the command center on the low ground. That's a bit ambitious, I would say, but mm, scouting that it's gas first especially, yeah, can be difficult. I, I mean, he got balls, right? He, he it's, it's okay. Find that he's getting uh, Hellions for map control, which is very useful. So he can grab the watchtower, can see, okay, what's going on. Can maybe poke a little bit at the supply depot, stuff like that. Just be active on the map, it gives him the map control for now. Because two Hellions, let me tell you, they are stronger than just the single one I got. And ooh, yeah, I need to be very careful here. Doesn't want to lose that one. Ah. Uh, and it's safe! Hooray! And we'll get repaired most likely. There we go. Behind that we see finally the starport coming up for PentaQ as well. I, I really should just call, tell him, uh, call him PentaQ. Penta for 5 and Q because 5 Q, so PentaQ. I guess that's that's a legit name though. So sorry if you're offended now. Q Q Q Q Q, but seriously, your name is just way too confusing. And I would say Panther Q uh, sounds way nicer, cooler. So here we have the tank on the way for Panther Q as well as four Hellions at the front spotting anything. But 
he doesn't have the watchtower. So if I will start dropping, which could be the case soon, as soon as both medevacs are out, then this could deal real damage. But you have a Viking on the way, and a Viking is really good. I wonder why he didn't go uh, went for for turrets, as he saw gas first. He sees the medevac now, so yeah, but uh, he never spots the uh, the starport there. So mm. ooh, just tank. Might shoot here. Bam. Uh, get out of there. That's my natural buddy. Uh, second Viking on the way, which is really useful against those drops. Uh, he's a bit supply capped. Which is not really good, but it's okay. SCV wise, interestingly, he, he got the command center way earlier than I got mine. But there's just four SCVs, three SCVs difference. And with that, yes, can. This can be important. So two Hellions are able to... Oh, that's hot. Oh, look at that. Sick. <laughs> I love that. I love watching it and I love doing it. If I would be a pro, I would be so proud of myself. Uh, that was that was very cute. Okay, but yeah, he's... Ah, oh, he pulled everything out of position. Now if the drop happens, which is not the case, I'm not going for the, for the main base here. Oh, uh, scouting with the medevacs, these two vikings. Uh, moving up the ramp. Uh, losing one medevac immediately. Might lose the other one. There's a tank in position and those hellions. Uh, auto turrets. No, yes, maybe. Ah, uh, with the tank fire trading quite equal. And the tank might go down. Hot repair. It's so close. Uh, yeah, the tank will go down for sure. And now we got two auto turrets and two tanks. Uh, the Raven died, which is unfortunate for me because the Raven in the late game is so useful. Or in the mid game. Ah, the tank! So, one tank for one tank. And I get a Viking myself as well. I might get another one. Or maybe the SCVs. Or the Marine. Or nothing. Okay. So, he dealt quite nicely with it. Damage dealt. He lost 11 worker, and that was damage I had to do because now I'm ahead, and that's good. I got a small army behind that as well, so I could push out another time. Especially because I guess I got more Vikings now. Ah, it's evil. Okay, it's even, but his Viking is damaged and oh, Having the low HP Viking at the front is very... Ah, I wouldn't do that. So, army control decision-wise not the best one. And yeah, this this Marine. Oh my... Uh, ah, he, okay, he sees it. But still, this Marine, man. Okay. So the Vikings are a bit faster than the Marine. So in the unit loss we can see that I traded okay, but I lost more gas than my opponent. And it is indeed Marine tank versus Marine tank, so that's definitely a bit bad for me. And as you can see his command center is on the way. Although, while I'm still on just two command centers, I'm throwing down the double eBay, which is good for me. So I can fire up double upgrades, 1-1. One, one for my uh, bio, but well, he's just getting his eBay now, and it's a single one, so an upgrade, an upgrade that will be ahead, most likely, uh, can still be difficult in terms of production. Yeah, I mean, 1-1 one, one Marines are better than 0-1, but if you got like 50% more Marines than your opponent, then those upgrades aren't that important anymore, because you can just outnumber them, have a nice concave and win. But yeah, we will see how that goes. Uh, for now, it's just a battle of uh, vision and map presence, as both players are trying to grab the watchtower, have marines everywhere at the third base, at such spots left and right on the map, and to the bottom and to the top, of course. Uh, as you want to see anything moving out, heading to your main base, dropping, such like that. So that's that's the most important part in TVT, I would say. Uh, it also helps against Protoss and Zerg, of course, but. Mm, Especially in TVT, you want to have marines or hellions depending on what you or, or supply depots. It doesn't matter. Just have something to to do spot stuff going on on the map, like marines or as I said, supply depots, hellions. Have them, and that's why you never should use uh, the grab all army hotkey because then you destroy your own vision you had to establish, and that's really annoying. So don't use that key if possible, at least in TVT. Uh, how many barracks do we have for me? Uh, three to three so far, but two are coming for me. Uh, three, four, okay. Uh, finally, I get my command center. 
worker wise I am ahead, which is really interesting considering that I am lacking one command center. I'm behind a little bit there. Even more barracks, wow! So I will have four to seven barracks, which is good. I guess I can ha uh, have eight. Mm, but maybe I will get a second factory and then seven barracks is fine. So two two should be on the way for me soon. And that's exactly the point now. The Penta Q got like just plus one attack on his marines. Well, I could fire up 2 2 soon, which then would be huge because then it's 2 2 against 1 1 marines and then uh, look at the army supply 77 against 59. So that's definitely good for me. Mm, oh, there's a drop. Uh, a lot of marines there. Ooh, a lot of marines like. Oh, that's, that's, that's something. But smart as I am. Of course, having some tanks there just to be safe. But my vision isn't the best. I should have one marine head here, one there. Which is happening. Oh, the drop! The drop! Oh, no! <laughs> wow! That was not too good for me. But moving into like that, there are two tanks. And the repair is real. He doesn't get this one. And uh, he loses. I would say now it's even again. So. That was, yeah. Okay, so both both players traded quite equally, I would say. That was that was really ah. You can't throw away medivacs like that. <laughs> you shouldn't. But on the other hand, trading like that, it wasn't really a trade. I mean, he traded marines and medivac for a repair on the tank. Ah, all right. So worker wise, equal. Army supply wise, also very even. The only thing I am I had uh, are the upgrades, and that really could could uh, help me. As well as I'm getting finally the tool. Look at that. that. That's almost undroppable. I mean, you can drop right here. It's possible. So there is a, a weak spot, and it looks like he will. Ah, oh, doom drop, doom drop ink. He might want to go for that, but it's risky. There are marines. There is a tank. Dropping there can be so difficult. Will he react in time? Uh, for now, yeah, he will. Okay, he will watch. Where his drop goes. I would love to see a counter attack at the third base as well. Uh, a multi prong attack. Uh, he goes for it. And yeah, there's the weak, weak spot. He goes in. Uh, but uh, there are two tanks for me. A lot of Marines are coming. Combat shields are finished. 1 1 against 1 1. I'm losing a lot of SCVs here, to be honest. But still, I might be able just barely to hold. So he, he cleared a lot of SCVs. Like 16? That's a lot. But I can I, I can replenish that. Uh, for now it's okay. He just needs to be a little bit worried uh, about the counter attack, which might happen now. Yeah, so uh, I should maybe wait for two two to finish. But with losing so many SCVs, I have to do something now. The good thing is I still have my Vikings. So if I can kill his Vikings and save mine, then I get the the air control. Uh, my Vikings got, I guess, better upgrades. Yeah, so, oh! Oh, he's stimming in! No, he's going back. Oh, he's losing the tanks! It's not too good, but the Concave is superior for him. Uh, will it matter, though? 1-1 one, one against 2-1. Oh, it's so close, but... Ah, there you go. Upgrades, man. They're so good. But he cleared most of it. I guess it's, it's okay. He tries to drop on top of the tanks, which is really smart. Killing off two more of them. And I'm losing the Vikings here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, those two tanks. So close. Hot pickup. I like it. I like it a lot. So, in terms of supply, quite even. I'm a bit ahead in army supply. And the upgrades are really looking better for me. But just a small window now. Scan goes down. I see. Nah, I can't drop there. But I will try. As it looks like. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The counter drop is real. Ah, nice. Nice. I, I love, I, l I really love moves like that. Pentaq, well done. Well done. If I would have dropped on top of that, <laughs> instant GG, I can tell you. Uh, more barracks are coming, 3-3 three, three on the way. And we're heading towards the later stage of the game. Uh, what I what I r realized lately in TVT, if it's marine tank versus marine tank, what you want to opt for in the late game is going for battle cruiser, not like 10 or 12, but 4 to 6 with the Amato cannon, 3-3 upgrades, and they are really good against marines, 
I know 50 marines are shredding through battle cruisers like nothing, but with the support of tanks and with the battle cruiser you can have the air control back. You can Yamata down the tanks and then stim into wind. So that's the basic idea behind that. Ooh, if you realize that there's a command center morphing. Uh, and he will uh, he will get all those cities. He scans, sees the army and is like, okay, screw it. I have to go for that now. He's attacking the command center. Uh, no! But there's the big attack coming. And there's one tank. But just so much bio for me. I will get that one at the front, most likely, yes. Ah, he didn't kill the command center. He stims in. Will grab himself a barracks. Uh, nope, he backs off. And he might lose the command center. No cancel. That's huge. And there's just one single tank. Will get sniped. Uh, two tanks in that medivac. Not helping out whatsoever. He's pulling back even further, but his mm, third base is very, very vulnerable currently, so he has to be very careful how he manages that. And there's no turret as well, which would help a little bit uh, against the medivacs, and now he's losing SCVs. I uh, has to stop mining. Mm, Marines, yes, Gans are going down, but he can't. Uh, he will try to drop on top of the tanks, and that's smart, considering that the Marines are out of position. Really well done, there are two tanks, three tanks. Will he get four? Yeah, it looks like he got three to four tanks, they're really good. And now he tries to stim in, but there are still two tanks with plus two attack. And they are dealing 41 damage, that's almost one marine. Oh! That was a big shot. And behind that, uh, not too much damage dealt, but I'm very low on SCVs. Oh, 50 SCVs is not really good. Uh, I mean, I got the orbital command. Oh, I lifted the main base down to the fourth base. Ah, that's nice. But yeah, I could really need more marines, uh, SCVs. I mean, ah, uh, the army supply. The, the army supply is really looking good for me. If you if you watch, I got 102 marines. Innovation style. Oh yeah, there we go. But seriously, the tank count for me is a bit low. Uh, the medics are. Oh, <laughs> look at those marines. <laughs> That's so sick, man. Uh, counter drop again, but this time there's a planetary and. I can tell you, Planetary Fortress deals so much damage with the Ibix Cannon. That's insane. Uh, will he be ready? There are three tanks. Uh, there are some tanks, but he's so defensively set up. Mm, I don't know about that. He's going in. But look at the damage the, the Planetary might do. Oh, come on. Uh, he sees it. Okay. And now he sees the army and is like, oh wait, oh god, no! Uh, there's a drop attempt on top of the tanks, and uh, not really working too well here, but... Uh, look at the concave, <laughs> so many marines! Stim to win, baby! Stim to win! Somehow he managed to kill the Ibix because of the lack of repair. Uh, very well done with the planetary there, but he lost the command center himself. And... Ooh, that's... I really wonder how that happened. But yeah, no counter repair, that's most likely the most important part. Uh, so 3-3 three, three for both player now, and mm, the problem is Pentaq is now on two mining, one mining base I would say. He's down to 34 SCVs uh, against a two base Terran. Uh, not too good. Uh, he will crush this army for sure. Uh, there's a tank at the watchtower. This watchtower is so important in uh, in, in TVT on, on that map. So important because it gives you vision. Uh, onwards the ramp a little bit. With the scan around here you go, here you see, which is so important. So you don't need medivacs in position to deal with the ramp if you got the watchtower, that's why this is so important. Oh! The flank! The flank is real. I'm trying to flank him. Uh, 270 degree, 70 degree attack and this might crush him. Mm, scans are going down, he sees it. Oh, oh there's a drop attempt. Ah, he sees it with the watchtower, uh, with the sensor turret there. Will he be ready? Ah, the counter drop! It's real! Not bad, not bad, but there's a tag to the natural as well. And yeah, he will be able to easily deal with that, but... The front was thinned out by that, and there we go, there's the tag! Still to win! Will it be enough? Just three tanks! Not being enough there, the fourth one in the back dealing good damage, but the concave. Oh, it's so close, the tank's still fighting. Ah, it's not going down. Oh, I should have taken out that tank. That was such an important target to, to kill. 19 marines in production. How many barracks do I have? 
It doesn't even show anymore. Wow. Good drop on top of the Xenaga Watchtower. And clearing that army. So I got two factories, which is fine. How many barracks are there? That's, that's what I really want to know. Let's see. Okay, so 10 barracks, and most of them got the reactor. Just one with the tech lab because of Stim Combat Shield. So yeah, that's a lot of marines I can produce. And I got the money. For now, I got the money. And Penta Q, uh, he lifted his main base as well. Oh, a barracks is burning down. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, his tank upgrades are not too good. Just one. And my tank upgrades are superior to his, so... But he's not out yet. He needs to replenish his SCV count. He needs the money, and then he needs the production to keep up. For, for now, he should just keep me back at home, somehow, uh, with trading as less as possible. Just keep me back home and build up your, your SCV count. That would be very important for him, because currently, as you can see in the supply, it's not looking good for him. And the APM, man. Crazy. Yeah. All those, okay, a new base will be established there. <laughs> Lifting the natural to that base, okay, fine. Uh, what's the medevac count? The medevac count is 8 to 4, so that's one thing which could hurt me, uh, because you need medevacs, like 4 is not really huge amount of medevacs, 8, 8 to 10 would be phenomenal, uh, 12 to 14 would be almost overkill, I would say, at least in my experience. Uh, my army is so big. Ooh, God. Uh, he might lose his command center again, if he's not careful. Uh, concave, ooh. Yeah, yeah, stimming forward. Try to kill the tank. But, uh, I might just go for the open command there. Maybe not. I guess it will fall. Yeah, it's close. He stims in. He won't be able to save it. And that's huge. Now he's on one mining base, and that's it. And I can't trade like that, it's possible. Oh, no, 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 no. He might lose. Just another orbital command. Oh, uh, and the tank. So the, the planetary fortress is still there, which is good for him, but now he, he has just one orbital command left to lift. And not enough money to, repl to, to rebuild another one. And I guess we will soon see the GG, because that's not looking good whatsoever. He should probably unload all those units. Or just go for a big doom drop. And try to base trade. Oh no! That's the perfect anti-timing. I'm hitting there. Uh, my units heavily overstim. No medivacs whatsoever. The concave. Really, really good for him. And with the medivacs, he might be able to, to, to crush this army. Yeah, with ease. And now the supply is quite even. But he can't go into that for tanks at the Xenaga Watchtower. That's not gonna work. Pentacue. He tries to drop on top of that, I guess. Uh no. Ooh. Ah, uh, look at the income. That's that's the most important part here, the income. Not really looking too good. For him. So he tries to do some kind of counter drop. And he might find some SCVs there, which is really good for him, but at the same time he's heavily oversaturated at his uh fourth base. Uh, there is nothing to kill here. Oh, I'm pulling back with everything. I should not give up the position on the Xelnaga Watchtower. Never. Uh, but I might be able to save the Orbital Command here. Yeah. But at what cost? I mean, uh, mining-wise it's looking good for me. And I can produce a lot of stuff as well. But still. Now, where is this Orbital Command floating right now? I have no freaking idea. So he re-established his third base, which is really helpful, but... <clears throat> oh! Finds my base! He might go for it! He could he could try to kill... Yeah, there's the squad. The marine hit squad might try to kill the base, and he could get it! Which would help him a lot. He's not out and down yet. He can still win uh, with killing all the marine SCVs there. Oh, and the orbital command! So it's looked... <laughs> it's looked... It's looking like I'm throwing hard. Oh yeah, bye bye Orbital Command number one, bye bye Orbital Command number two. How many structures did we lose in this game? Oh yeah, there you go, so many command centers died this game. Oh my goodness. And he goes in. Ah, he could have killed the barracks. Kill the barracks, kill the production. There you go. Uh, but he will lose this Orbital Command for sure. That would be the, the fifth one going down now. Oh god. 
Uh, he's killing the barracks, and that's really nice. He's trading really good with the small force. I lose the orbital command. And now, oh, the tanks are not sieged. Oh, the concave is so good for me. And the tank sieging, oh my goodness. <laughs> now that's, that's GG. Come on. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Uh, he's still got that small force, but catching him all on siege like that with the superior concave is just too much, I guess. And yeah, I'm staying defensive like there. Uh, I'm in his main base. There's one tank. But that won't cut the corner there. Oh, it loses a medevac. Uh, yeah. This one tank dealing good amount of damage, but in the end. Now I can siege up from above the cliff and, and stop any mining at the fourth base. I, I guess you realize that that's most likely game. Yeah. He has no orbital command, he can't lift the, the planetary fortress. Tanks are sieging up. He got no money left, no bank, but a lot of gas. And yeah, there we go. GG is called. What a game, guys. What a game. So much stuff died there. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> almost almost 800, 8, 850 marines in one single game. It's insane! Okay, so yeah, that's, that's that TVT. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, as always. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye!